Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading for October 2024. Um, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Some of you are intuitively guided. Thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Um, you could be in love with it, Capricorn, platonically, romantically. So you may be here just like, you know, checking up there on their en energy. I just want to remind you that, you know, I always invite my spirit guides of the light into the readings, um, who then I feel connect with yours. So, um, you know, your guides will know you're here. So you'll probably receive messages yourself. This is also a great time to take like a moment. And even if you have to put me on pause and even, you know, connect to your own guys, ask for like some types of confirmation during the reading, something where you just like, it almost becomes undeniable, um, whether it be the whole reading or, you know, different messages. I feel like when I do a reading, what it feels like to me is like I'm um, writing the story of Capricorn you know, at least a chapter, like October's chapter of Capricorn, the life of Capricorn. Um, it literally is like, I see you all here, you know, and that's why I know sometimes there's different signs. Something pulls you to a reading. That's your spirit guides. Um, so anyways, let's stop talking and get into, well, we're going to still talk, but let's get into the reading. So, um, something we're doing just a little different for October. Um, something similar to what we did in September where we took the major arcanas to really get like bullet points of the reading before the main spread began. Um, the main event, I want to say. Uh, but this month, I am using the Romance Angels. They're also an Oracle deck. Um, and one of the reasons why I really was like hold first of all um i started working with a company who offered some free cards and i will do like a formal review i know i keep saying that but i will do that uh, but this was one of them and i know this deck very well um this is a deck that i had to leave behind but i gave it to my daughter so i gifted it um but i missed it so i was excited to see this and they're back um And again, we're going to use them as like bullet points, but we're going to use the Gilded Tarot, by the way, to clarify or really to go deeper. You know, these usually are very in-depth readings. That's why sometimes it takes time. Like a story needs to unfold. I got to know where I've been to understand where I'm at and where I'm going. You know, all that. So, um, yeah. And we're going to use... Mother Mary for her words of wisdom. And for your main spread, I don't know. The Light Sears is really calling to me. So that's what we're going to use, the Light Sears. That'll be your main spread. But let's start with Mother Mary. And let's get some words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. For Capricorn, and those intuitively guided. Anybody who needs it. All right. Let's give him a cut. Everything's pre-shuffled, by the way, before you get here. I just like to give it a couple shuffles with you here. All right. So let's officially open this reading. Whoa. All right. I don't feel like I can take all that. You know, if a card came, comes face up with Mother Mary, I, don't, I never refuse it. It doesn't even matter how many come face up. I don't refuse it. But when they're not face up, then I use my own, own intuition. Like, you know, there's like 10 cards there, you know. And I just didn't feel like like it was meant for you. I felt like it was, a, you, it was my hands. All right, so anyways, you have truth. Truth, I am lovingly honest with myself and others. Truth, you know, in a way, I feel like it all has to begin there. 
like if I'm not being honest with myself, then, and if I'm unsatisfied in anything, then I don't know. I do know. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to say it? And then we have caring. You know, it's interesting. Um, what I forgot to tell you is I'm also doing opposite signs um, like I did in September. And I have to say the synchronicities have been great. You know, I, I, I get why I'm doing them this way now. Um, and who knows, I may continue. There's just something. Uh, so your opposite, by the way, would be cancer. And I don't know, this reminds me of cancer's energy. And when I say opposites, the reason why you just want to know what your opposite is, because a lot of times that could be like areas where, you know, there's some lessons you can learn. Like, you know, you think of cancer. Caring is one of those, not that you also can't be caring, don't get me wrong, but it's one of their um, traits, let's say. So, caring. Heaven cares for me, and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. You notice how both of these truths, you're lovingly honest with yourself, caring. You know that heaven cares for you, and you're keeping your heart open to care about yourself, others, and the world. Truth and caring. All right, let's put those over there. Let's go ahead and bring the lid down. That was a little bit too much. We are going to begin with the Romance Angels. Give them a shuffle. And again, we're only shooting for like three to four of them. Um, I just feel like we'll now. Well, now. Let go of control issues. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Hmm. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally they definitely look like they're not trusting each other in that energy we have getting to know each other interesting i get this feeling some of you you could talk about you know i i want to say like potentially falling in love um and you know not trying to project it too far out into the future like sometimes this period of let's say this is talking about well it can really be talking about any type of love as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and you know something i also notice on this image is like Here's this man who, you know, is, I'm assuming, trying to impress this woman. This woman's child is laying on her lap. Almost like, you know, it reminds me of, like, um, claiming property. You know, like, mm. And I feel the mother would be like, you know, we're a package deal anyway. It's interesting how intently the daughter is listening. I'm not sure why I'm bringing all this up. But. Hmm. Okay. And then we have. Express your love. It's interesting. It's like, it's like you're moving like from. Who knows? Like drama. Um, just energy where there feels, there feels like there was like this, like this difference in between 
um, whether that be relating to like all people, you know, or someone in particular, I feel like there's, and it couldn't even be misunderstandings. It just feels like, first of all, when I think about like of control issues, I'm trying to control something. And it's interesting how I just realized that this woman also has her daughter. You know, but there seems to be something, I don't know, like something this woman is not trusting about this man. So. I'm also noticing all the angels. Like, hmm, I don't know why I'm picking that up other than there's two mothers and they're both holding their daughters. And then we have, well, this came next. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Interesting how we start with like a uh, Kind of feels like the hangman type of energy. Um, and I get this feeling like it's okay to try to control certain things as it relates to, let's just say, like the safety of your family. You know what I mean? Like, or, you know, even like, you know, I could see you saying like, I don't, I don't know that I want to fall for someone and you know because number one I feel like maybe potentially my family would have to get to know them and I don't want to just bring anyone into the family type energy hmm and it could definitely be two different people We could also talk about like some of you, why you may be trying to control a situation. You know, it, it's like in a way, I feel like you're trying to protect yourself in a way. But yet I feel like where I feel this resistance between this man and this woman and child, it kind of feels like the past. This feels like it's something new. Like, it's, it's a new energy, whether it be a new person um, or, you know, people having these realizations. Like, maybe I'm trying to control something. You know, maybe I am coming across defensive versus, you know, at least open, open to hearing. Mother Mary, truth. I'm lovingly honest with myself and others. You know, so I feel that conversation is a good thing here. So express your love. And then last but not least, we have past life love. And I believe it was Gemini and potentially Sagittarius, I think, maybe Scorpio. Might have been Scorpio. Um, where... They had the same energy. I think it was Scorpio. Anyway, so there's a past life love. That means it's definitely a soulmate type energy. And this is definitely energy that I feel that you can feel. You know what I mean? Like, um, let's say whenever this is going to enter, you know, and in whatever manner it enters, I still feel like you, you can like, you can feel the energy. Like maybe that's why I'm feeling a little protective, right? Protective of my family. Um, but even of herself, But yeah, I just get this feeling like this is, this is different. Okay, well, let's keep going. 
Let's get into the main spread, and I'm sure it will let us know. Interesting, I spent that much time just on the Romance Angels. You know, the past life relationship, just the image itself, it reminds me of the image of the lovers. And it's where the feminine is the, the image. Um, I think it's in the Universal Tarot, I'm not sure. Might be in this Tarot, uh, this deck. But it's like the feminine in current energy, feeling the masculine's energy. Um, and for some of you, that may be, even be the, your answer. You know, you may find yourself in these relationships or funny I'm saying relationships. So it's just say situations that involves potentially meeting new people, even talking to old people. And, you know, I may come across one way or I may come across the other way. Now, can the script be flipped? Of course it can. I just feel like someone mm. you know it's interesting because I do feel like it's talking about a soulmate energy and that's energy you can definitely feel excuse me one second okay sorry about that um had a knock on my door All right, so we're going to bring in the light seers. Give me one last shuffle. Let's give my cut. You know, um, one of the reasons why I myself in my readings cut my cards is really to introduce them into the reading. You know, I can already feel the energy from up here. I can feel the energy from Mother Mary, and I can understand how they're kind of melting together. Um, and I feel like the, you know, the light seers is just going to put it all into context, let's say. All right. But, yeah, so I cut them to introduce them into the reading. Interesting. We have the tower, which I really had no intentions in doing reversals today. However, just the way it landed, um, like up against my lap and, and my, um, my stomach area, just the way it was landed. It's like, I just felt I was meant to pick it up just the way it was. So, and so I am. So you have the tower, but the tower in reverse. Interesting. And then we have the king of wands. Can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, male or female, by the way. You know, again, we have masculine and feminine. We all have that within us. You know, light and shadow. This King of Wands always reminds me of someone who has, like, gone on, on, on a safari, like, takes chances, lives, like, you know, like, chases adrenaline type of energy. I don't know why. Picking that up. I 
I feel there's like this real confidence within him of like what he's accomplished, you know, and who he is um, as a man, like, you know, I definitely feel like accomplishments, you know, the overcoming, the climbing of mountains, the, and now I feel like there's like this claiming of, I don't know, it kind of feels like, like he's proud of maybe the land that I own or, you know, the life I've created. I feel like, yes, it's all that. Um, and I feel like, you know, talk about polar opposites. So this person, you know, was climbing. It's funny, that might be why the tower is in reverse, because I feel like this person could have made a lot of mistakes, but like then, you know, was willing to look within and like fix those mistakes. I can't, and yeah, and I'm saying mistakes. I don't even know if that's the thing to say. You know, for some reason, I feel like saying he comes in peace. He comes in peace. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. This is just someone who is action-oriented. Definitely, I feel like, follows desires and passions. But I almost feel like more of an earthly type. Like, I follow, I don't know, like someone who who just, again, you know, could have been on like a safari, like, you know, seeks adrenaline, but not in a bad way. He's like friends with this lion. Put some noisy birds outside. And your cards are taking their good old time. You know, I, it always happens as soon as I say that. We have the magician. Interesting. The manifester. You know, it definitely looks like someone is planting some seeds here. Interesting that he's like, he's standing on really barren land um you know that looks dry but yet at the same time uh, i feel like he's fine there but it does look dry and i don't know why i'm noticing just the the water that's coming from the magician's energy like watering that land Look at this. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. You know, it's interesting because there's all this water flowing from the magician's energy, which tells me, you know, it's probably of like, you know, I think of water like of an emotional nature, part of what I'm manifesting, and then the Ace of Cups shows up. And interesting, the Ace of Cups right now is mirroring the tower, but in reverse. It's almost like saying that, you know, it's ever happening here. I feel like can with can he may, maybe it's talking about the people, but I feel like um, it's about withstanding the storm, like that you can.
Ace of Cups is also coming under Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the positive gesture. It's flirting. Flirting. You know, let's say you don't know who this King of Wands is. I almost feel like he comes into your life with like this determination and I definitely feel like this is someone who knows who they are um you know all parts of themselves like I know the things that I've oh, that I've had to overcome but I don't feel like this person in any way has shut themselves down it's almost like they realize that they had to look at themselves and they did we have the three of wands so this is optimistic energy an optimistic view of the future it is mirroring the reversal of the tower this is living in the current you know in present day energy and this is kind of going with the flow, just saying, you know, maybe it's talking about this Ace of Cups. This could be the other person before this king even enters, unless you already know who it is. Um, you know, this is telling the universe, I know that my ships will come in. I know that they're out there. I know that they will find me, and I know that it'll happen in divine timing. This is really the opposite of where someone is trying to control situation. This is quite the opposite of that. This is going with the flow of it. I'm not trying to control. Maybe it's talking about this ace. I'm not trying to control it. I'm going to give it room to breathe and you know, I'm going to I'm going to allow it to I don't know, envelop me. I'm not going to stand in its way. Okay. So we already know that probably for the majority of you, the Ace of Cups is also relating back to past life relationships. Um, because I do feel like that's talking about it, like of a romantic nature. Even says up here, allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like that's the main message at this point. And I feel like the description of this King of Wands, again, I'm not even thinking about their sign, I'm just thinking about the person. I feel like it's to give you a clue. Hmm. We have the Two of Swords. Interesting. So that tells me that, you know, in the Two of Swords, I'm wearing this blindfold. And it's mainly because I don't want to face something or I'm afraid to face something. Um, you know, and, it, and the blindfold is like a facade, right? It doesn't make it go away. It's still there. Um, so what is it? You know, what is it that I don't want to face? She is looking towards the past. And, you know, maybe it has something to do with this tower. This whole top line could be talking about this king's energy. You know, where he... He's like, he's feeling good where he's at. 
he think he's he's done pretty well in life, so to speak. You know, at least according to his standards. And I do feel like he's got kind of high standards. Um, I don't feel like he comes with drama. And I almost feel like it's his energy. And I keep saying him, it can be her. But I feel like who's... Listen, I feel like both are probably feeling or, you know, the flow from the magician's energy planting that seed and I feel like the seed is love but one may not like actively know that you could talk about something is just destined to be around this time and this person feels like they're just going with the flow yeah all right So even though the tower is in reverse, I still have this blindfold on. It's interesting because she's in this like dry land also. But the person in the three of wands, she's at the beach. Yeah, she got the sand right there, but she got the water right there. She got fire, fire going. All right, we have the nine of wands coming under the king of wands. I kind of felt that. That's exactly what I was feeling with this king. Um. This is about the willingness to look, you know, to reflect at least over, let's just say, the last chapter or maybe different chapters within my life. You know, this is an energy where you really learn not to blame yourself, right? Because when I when I know better, I do better. I do feel like ultimately this person is what I call my spirit warrior because, you know, you gain a lot from this courage, wisdom, the ability to put the past in the past. I feel like it's real growth and it's spiritual growth. We have the Hierophant. Hard of Taurus, you know, that's your belief system, your faith. Do you believe it can be, it can be so? Or do you not? We have four of wands, nice, coming under the ace of cups. It's kind of nice. Especially because I feel like for some of you, this is talking about a past life. So probably even healing, you know, maybe every time, every lifetime we spend together, you know, healing needs to be part of it. And we really are each other's mirror, so. You always hurt the one you love. Hmm. I just simply feel that the other side of the coin is someone is just yeah, just a little fearful of opening themselves up, let's just say. You know. And I don't feel like it's major. Some of you may be having these dreams, like, all of a sudden, and they're just different. And I, and I know exactly what that means. 
they're different from like your normal dreams. You know, if you have the, if you're the one in the two of swords, you could be kind of blocking out um, spiritual guidance in a way or trusting in it. So I feel like your guides would definitely use your dreams because it's when your defenses are down. We have the Queen of Wands. Interesting, we have the King of Wands and now the Queen of Wands. You know, the Queen of Wands here, she's like, I don't know, she's, what's the word I want to say? Like, I feel like she's enlightened. And she's looking right back at the Four of Swords with the Three of Wands above her. And that's really her natural energy. And again, this can be you. This can be like your higher self reminding your your earthly self that, you know, not to be too fearful of stepping forward. Looks like it's the queen who, well, I, don't, I shouldn't just say that, but it does look like it's the queen who's like doing more of the healing. And again, do they even know each other? Maybe, but maybe not. And when I say that, that makes me feel like there's different situations for different people. All right, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Well, hello, Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. House of Abundance. Page of Wands underneath that. It's almost like this King of Wands, younger self. You know, I think something we have to remember that if we're soul connected, right, that means that we know each other. We already know each other, you know, on a soul level. We already know each other. Um, and, you know, we can come into a lifetime and part of it can be about finding each other again. But I feel like there's also other things like that each soul wants to experience in the lifetime and that's the t you know and that happens during the time apart from the for these two people you know because i feel like whatever the king wants you know felt like he needed to overcome whatever got him to the place that i feel like he's at right now i don't feel like it was a waste of time i feel like it was a good thing and then you have the four swords down here. That's healing. You know, I'm feeling this Ten of Pentacles is really a house that takes roots. And I can see this like rooted through lifetimes. But we are born the amnesia. And that's a part of the soul's adventure. Like, can we find each other again? I feel like we can put the intention out there as a soul, but then we have to just be willing to accept whatever comes with that. You know what I mean? All right, so let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. You know, it looks like the magician is feeding your your house of faith, hope, you know, higher learning, higher wisdom. It is a five, so it is a question. So it's almost like trying to, you know, like raise you a dimension or increase your vibration, however you want to say it.
and you may not even be aware you may not even be aware of that you know i feel like it's almost like something is happening behind the scenes on a spiritual level okay We have the Emperor, card of Aries. Hmm. Um, this can be like a business owner, your boss. It may be you. You are the boss. Maybe for some of you, what you were worried about was a business. Um, but it but it feels okay. This is the father figure. And then we have interesting, your opposite. Cancer. This is the chariot coming right over the king of wands. Some of you, maybe this was your boss. <laughs> um, maybe. Anyway, the chariot really represents first balance. So, you know, I feel good about this king. I really do. And um, to me, that means this, this person is balanced. And it can really represent, the chariot can represent unlimited potential, right? Because it's also about my seeds, like my intentions, my intentions are what move the chariot. And this king seems to know exactly what he wants, right? What he's feeding. He's feeding the emotional side now. It's like I've conquered this side. You know, maybe maybe he's the owner of a company. Maybe he sells cars. You know, I feel like I want to say that in one lifetime, he probably really did come in a physical chariot. I kind of feel that if I just let go, and I allow, you know, and I don't project it too far out into the future. But I allow myself to feel, you know, all that it offers. I feel like it's a good thing. All right, we have the moon card of Pisces, ruler of cancer. So, double cancer right there. Um, so, for some of you, it may be asking you to, you know, think about cancer's energy and use it to your advantage. Coming right over the magician. And then the page of cups over the ace, or, yeah, the ace of cups. And that makes sense because the four swords is right below it. So, you know... It's like, you know, my heart need my heart needed this healing. And you know, the page of cups I often read is like your inner child. <laughs> Excuse me. But I do, I feel like it's your inner child and I feel like it's healing. And it's also the energy of playfulness, like allowing oneself just to be playful, like emotionally flirting. You know, I feel like I'm the uh, the one who has the t the blindfold on. Um.
who has a you know who carries more resistance in this connection i feel um i feel like that's part of what they're not allowing themselves to do is be playful be flirty you know like like think of yourself as you were when you were a teenager And I don't know why, but I don't really feel like it's this King of Wands. Um, I don't feel like it's him personally you have an issue with. Or the other way around. Hmm, look at this. We have the wheel. This is destiny, my child. This is destiny. The name of the group, Destiny, my child. Hmm. Anyway, over the Three of Wands, an optimistic view, also connected to past life lovers, and a Page of Cups looking right at it. So is the person in the Three of Wands. All right, I want to keep going before I, because I feel like this blindfold's being taken off. And I feel like whatever you felt, you know, that you are, that, you know, if I wasn't being honest with myself, I take off the blindfold and I, and I don't feel that what I feared manifest. We have the five of cups. Interesting. Over that two of swords, we have, well, there's the ten of pentacles. Over the nine of wands, also connected to the king. And then, hello, ace of swords. So, I feel like, and so it begins. And so it begins. You know, interesting because in the five of cups, which is really following the wheel. It's it's almost like the hangman's energy, like blocking that wheel. So again, I feel like I have two ways I can look at this. I can go with the flow, or in the five of cups, where I'm at, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on what I've lost. But it's interesting because the tower, it's not, you know, it's reversed. And when this person decides, I'm no longer going to focus on the past. I'm no longer going to focus on what went, what's went wrong, right? Maybe even I make the decision to allow myself to heal, to heal that heart, right? To get back to me, my playful self. Um, this person, when they change that focus, well, there's two cups, and we already know this is talking about a soulmate type of energy. We already know that. And I find it interesting that the Ten of Pentacles is here. So it came from the bottom of the deck. It's almost like it's replaced itself. So again, if this is someone new, and... Part of, part of this blindfold I have on is because I wish it was someone else. But yet, I feel really good about this king. And I kind of love that the last card is the queen. So, like-minded energy, again, doesn't matter the sign. Hmm. You know, it's interesting because when you're in the five of cups, it's almost like you're at a crossroads and you are making a decision. And that's decision that decision is I'm gonna keep focusing on, you know, the negative end of it, the negative side, the loss, 
And listen, I mean, we've all done it, right? But this, I feel like, is literally showing us how it's it's like a wedge in the in the wheel. Because I feel like if I take out that wedge and take off that blindfold and maybe give this king an opportunity, then I may just find myself in a, in a completely unexpected situation, which may be love, which may be long term, which may be the one. Especially with the Ace of Swords coming right over the Hierophant. Some of you may have been having a dream about someone, whether you know them or not. But yet, Let's just say that you're dreaming um, that you're, you know, you meet someone and you don't know them. But I feel like you probably really do know them. I feel like however this is going to happen, it's about just allowing it. We have the Knight of Wands. Nice. So, to me, the Knight of Wands, especially with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here, you know, the Knight of Wands speaks about the type of energy it'll be. You know, Knight of Wands, it can be fast moving. And that may be why we're seeing the Ten of Pentacles. You know, the wheel. It's like when I allow that wheel to move, amazing things might just happen. So, this is passionate. You know, it's like... Coming over the four swords, it's like I'm allowing myself to feel again. And I'm feeling. All right, that went flying off the table. And it is the page of Pentacles. Interesting. Page of Pentacles normally speaks about a period of time where we've been learning, right? We've been growing um, both, you know, in our career, in our money, in our material world. But also, you know, I feel like, I definitely feel like spiritually growing also. So I feel like, you know, because it's coming under the wheel, it's almost saying to oneself, you know, I can't just be like, oh, well, the good things were meant to happen and think the bad weren't. Maybe they taught me something. Could have been a difficult lesson, but nonetheless, maybe a lesson, especially when we remember that Earth is our classroom. I almost feel like it's also the remembrance. We do have two pages here, page of cups and a page of pentacles. Hmm. And it could just be two people like allowing themselves to feel like kids again, you know, unencumbered. Okay, well, I want to look at a couple things. I feel like we should look at the Five of Cups because I feel like everything kind of stops up until the Five of Cups and that Two of Swords. So, but I do feel like there's a change. So, what happens?
The Empress. Beautiful. Funny, we have the Emperor right here. And now the Empress. And in between is the Five of Cups. And the Emperor is coming with the Tower down. So I'm not bringing drama or heartache. It's not my intention. Kind of now feels like past lives. And this Empress may have said to herself, like, I've never really felt for real fulfillment. Even now, you know, and that Five of Cups may be a little bit of that. But yet, in the same breath, I feel like your heart's getting ready. Or let's just say that the universe is helping you to help open your heart. We have, interesting, the Page of Wands in reverse. Then the Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Well. First of all, the Page of Wands in reverse attached to the Seven of Swords probably speaks of a period of time where you dealt with somebody who um, it, it wasn't easy. Let's just put it that way. Um, probably wasn't honest with you. Um, I feel like, you know, never got the opportunity to know you like who you truly are but maybe there's a part of you that closes yourself down before like allow anyone to really know who i am on a soul level um however because the empress came out to me the empress means you know it's it's someone who does remain nurturing and loving she does keep her heart open um she's learned that and it's through her lessons that she's learned that, you know, but she's also very powerful. She's strong, you know, just like where I feel like this King of Wands has like overcome, you know, climbed his mountaintops and what have you, you probably have done the same. But the bottom line is, I feel like, you know, maybe now, especially if you take the blindfold off, right? It's like, it's like being completely who you are. And you know who you are now. And allowing yourself to be that. You know, that means there's no room for walls, blindfolds. It means that, you know, I'm going to be true to me also. With the three of pentacles here, like, you know, who you are and being true to that. So it does feel like there's definitely evolution here. It feels pretty major, to be honest. So, wow. Simply ripping off that blindfold seems to change everything. Also, I feel like it's where I'm not allowing the past to play any say-so in what my future or my present is going to look like. And then I also love the Three of Pentacles with the Empress and the Emperor because I feel like who's going to, who else can see your individuality better than the Emperor and the Empress? You know, some of you, what you're hanging on to is like pain from, let's say, relationships that. I don't know. I guess in a way I feel that you would feel like, well, probably isn't worth it anyway. Hmm. Okay. All right. I get that. So let's let that be. And I don't know. 
Let's just come up and let's look at the Emperor. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Hmm. But yet yeah, it's coming over the reversal of the tower. Ten of Wands normally speaks about a period of time of heavy responsibilities. And let's just say you knew each other. This could be, certainly be someone who, um, like let's say you went to college together. This is someone who took it seriously. You know, really took it seriously. And maybe put all their effort towards it. And maybe this is something they've learned. Let's not forget that the Emperor and the Empress both are normally someone we can look up to. Someone who's been through, you know, I feel like all the queens and all the kings' lives, you know, have walked the path of pentacles and wands and swords and cups. And maybe I'm worn and torn for a moment. All right, well, let's keep going. We have, nice, the Nine of Cups. Look at this, another Nine. Hermit. So, you know, first of all, the Nine of Cups, that's inner fulfillment. That's someone who feels good within. Doesn't mean I have everything. It just means I feel good. Within myself, I feel good with my choices, my decisions. And I love that the hermit is right next to that because, you know, to me, it does feel like there's been a lot of spiritual growth here. And I feel like the hermit's representing like, you know, different times that maybe there was that like dark night of the soul um, energy, the ability to get through it. It's almost like you're each other's light at the same time, though, again, Probably not knowing that. Two nines, 99. I feel like I want to follow the hermit for a second. We have the five of pentacles. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Could be you. You know, I simply feel like there needs to be, let's just say, if this is something I want to go further with, and I feel like it is going to be different for different people, but yet I feel like you should be able to feel like where you're at within it. But anyways, I feel like... Um, I don't know. You know, it's like the Hermit is illuminating the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles can sometimes represent like something that happens outside of our control. Some of you could have been a job. Some of you could have been like, you know, 50% of your finances. But I do feel like that changes. Don't get me wrong. And I feel like this is kind of giving us a, a look into, like, how we got where, you know, how we got there. Then comes out the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, if it's not an earth sign and it's not you, I feel there's a sense of loyalty with this person. So I want to follow it just a little bit more.
King of Swords, interesting, two kings. And then the Ace of Wands. Mm, inspired action. Interesting. You know, first of all, I want to say for some, I feel like what the Hermit's illuminating within that Five Pentacles is a potential meeting of a soulmate. And it may be, again, this past life love. So, you know, in that moment of, let's say, distress or what have you, then ultimately I meet someone. And who knows, maybe a conversation, right? We strike up a conversation. And after that, the Ace of Wands is kind of like then going on a date. So to me, the Hermit's like, especially because the Nine of Cups is right before it, which is inner harmony, and then fulfillment of wishes. And then I feel like the Hermit is like helping us to illuminate that if this Five of Pentacles never happened, then we may have never met this person. So sometimes, you know, what we call those tower moments really are moving us where maybe we weren't moving ourselves. Again, putting a wedge in that, that wheel. So, and then you have the Ace of Wands. Why well, feel like that's go time? Again, it may start as conversation that then turns into more and then turns into a date. And I feel like really, you know, the moral of your story is about allowing yourself to be in playful, flirty type energy, you know, more feminine type energy. Um, you know, you don't have to, but I feel like if this is something you're interested in pursuing, then I feel like that seems to be the best, the best way to go about it. Um, because I feel like you're meant to experience. So, all right, I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um, I feel like I could go on and on, to be honest, but I feel like it's telling us what the reading is about now, it's going to be up to, you know, let's just say each individual in the decisions that they make, right? Like that five of cups over the two of swords, do I take that blindfold off? Do I change my focus from what I have lost to what is yet to be gained? You know, do I allow this healing to take place so I can find that inner harmony. And then that inner harmony alone, you know, just think about the energy you're sending out to the universe. That's a very grateful type of energy, even if I don't have everything. Right? I'm back to me again. So, I don't know. I just feel like um, the more we go with the flow here, I feel like the more you just may be surprised at how your life ends up looking. And that's where I'm going to let it be. I love you guys. Can't wait to read your comments. Um, especially let me know where you feel like you're at in the reading. Um, you know, I feel like the reading was clear. Yet, I could see where it could be a little confusing too. So, um... You know, if you're unsure, go back and watch a part of it. You know, again, ask for clarity. But other than that, I'm going to stop talking and just say thank you, thank you. Um, I love all the ways you help support the channel. Um, so thank you. I love you. I will. Um, so I haven't done Cancer's reading yet. 
But that is your opposite. So that will be the next reading. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.